And look at this, guys. We just beat an ultimate champion. What's up, guys? Spartan here. Back out again with another video. And today is obviously a really special video. Heal got replaced, a card that no one used with the Heal Spirit. Um, Heal Spirit is really, really good. It's like an Ice Spirit, except instead of freezing, it heals. Same health, same damage, same everything. Um, except when Heal Spirit jumps, it, it sends a healing array. And it almost sends, like, cards like Hog, Royal Hogs, Magic Archer, cards like that to full health, basically. Yeah, it's really, really insane. I think it's broken, to be honest with you. And you can almost put it in any cycle deck, and it'll make it 10 times better. I've used heal so much, so many times, and it's won me games so many times. It's really good. Um, heal went from a stupid and broken, um, and sorry, stupid card to heal spirit, which is an amazing and broken card. Um, so yeah, with the, I right here, I got a couple decks. I have this fireball bait deck with heal spirit. Um, this hog cycle deck with heal spirit 2.6. This Royal Hogs deck, I'm sure you've seen this one. Everyone uses it. Um, it's really good. And 2.9 Giant Cycle deck with Heal Spirit. So these are some really good decks. Actually, Unreachable is using this deck. He's top one ladder right now, which is really good. But, I mean, you've probably seen this deck from other YouTubers. You've probably seen this deck from other YouTubers. So we're going to go ahead with this 3 Musketeer Fireball Bait because I want to throw you something different. With a miner, we're gonna bend it right on the miner, and we bend it too far back, so the miner is gonna get a couple hits on our tower. She's gonna go with the minions. I'm I'm really like excited to see what this guy has. We're gonna heal spirit up here, and this guy's gonna give us a well played. All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go in with. Actually, just wasted a fireball, so we're going to go with three musketeers like that. I don't know if that was stupid, but he's doing his hee-hee-ha moat. Um, let's see. So they're going to lock on. He's going to rage quit? No, he's going to place barbs, but I think that's a bit late, buddy. So, yeah, those minions are going to absolutely devour those barbs, and he's going to send his minions, so he'll probably take our tower also. Oh, can't we not? Yes. So we still have 1,200 health on our tower, and he has 41. So Bandit just get it over with. Nice. So our Bandit took his tower, and he's going to go with a balloon and send us a well played. We have no answer to that, so we're just going to leave it and w wait for some more elixir and start another push. And his balloon's going to get a hit on our crown tower. This guy loves spamming his emotes, man. But we don't mute him. We're not going to mute him. He's going to give us a good luck. And I guess we're going to Dark Prince. And go in with a Battle Ram. This stack also has some bridge spam-like cards. Alright, so he's going to give us a clapping emote. I mean, this guy's really getting on my nerves. Um, we're going to send in that. And when he zaps, we're going to go with a heal spirit. She's going to fireball that. Um, Please, no Inferno Dragon. Alright, she's going to connect to our bandit, and he's giving us a well played. Yeah, we got to put this guy in his place. We don't like emote spammers. So, I don't know what this well played is for. But, our heal spirit got sidetracked. On those minions. And we got that one musketeer. Come on, musketeer. Get a hit, Dark Prince. He misses Zap. We're going to give him a well played. We got to troll him. We got to give him a taste of his own medicine. We got to give him the elixir collector up here. Go on. Get us an elixir. So it's going to die. But we don't care. He's going to give us a thanks. We're going to give him dire, that there. And bandit, heal spirit, and ice golem. This is a tight game. This is tight. This is tight. We're going to give him Minion Horde. And we're going to rush him with a Barbarian. Sorry, Battle Ram. He's going to 
Yeah, and we got the game here. We're going to give him thanks. I swear if we don't get this win, I'm going to rage. We're going to go Minion Horde. We're going to go Battle Ram. We're going to go Ice Golem. And we're just going to keep spamming him. Thanks. Well played. Oops. Good luck. Man, and spammers, man. If you have spammers, you got to put them in their place. Don't. Don't be scared and turn off your emotes. You gotta spam them back. Take that Nova I Lord. T right here, made in Italy. We're gonna go in with an ice golem. Right there, and hopefully um our tower's in range of that flying machine. Oh, so it's not in range. I don't even know. I think we're just gonna go with three musketeers, really aggressive. I wanna see if he has fireball. And if he does, we'll just heal spirit. He's got a fireball log. Um, yeah, we're going to heal spirit, and that could be early tower. Oh, oh, yes. Look at that heal spirit, man. Look, it just healed those three musketeers, or sorry, two musketeers, and just look at all that damage that I just did to that Mega Knight. So he didn't even get a hit on that bandit, which is good. And he's going to E-Wiz, and that's going to be a plus one elixir trade for us, and we can even get a hit. Man, bandit just OP. It got a charge off. Just like that, we're in the lead. But we're still going to commit to the right-hand tower because we got more damage done to that. We're going to go Elixir Pump. And if he'd place anything, we can pull it with an Ice Golem. All right. Maybe he'll just allow that. No, so he'll Earthquake. And that Earthquake actually did a lot of value. We're going to go Battle Ram. Doesn't look like he has signs of Fireball, which is actually really good. That's going to get a charge off. And my spectator is going to show me some love. Thanks. We're actually going to go with uh, Ice Golem and a Heal Spirit. And that Mega Knight's not going to charge. And we're actually going to do a lot of work. Three Musketeers, man. They're actually pretty good. We're going to put some Bridge Bam down. And hopefully that Bandit tanks for that Musket. And it won't. But that's all right. Um, doesn't look like our Dark Prince going to get any damage. So we're going to go again with three Musketeers. And if he places Mega Knight, we'll just Ice Golem. All right. So he's going to go with Inferno Dragon. He's going to Earthquake. So we're going to go with Elixir Collector. I don't know if that was dumb play. But we're going to go Heal Spirit. And that Barbarian Log was like a waste. No, he Mega Knighted that. We're going to go Ice Golem. Minion Horde there. And we're going to go Bandit here because I want the Bandit to charge. Oh, it won't charge. That's all right. We got ourselves a little counter push with Heal Spirit and Dark Prince. We're going to just full send that right now. And Saddler Barbarian Log didn't connect. Sorry, Barbarian, uh, bar uh not Barrel, <laughs> Barbarian Ram didn't connect, but it, the Barbarians did do some really good work, and, man, I didn't, I forgot about my Elixir Pump, totally. Um, he just wasted his Earthquake on it, so that was, like, that was a waste. So he's gonna Mega Knight, that was not a surprise. Okay, once that Mega Knight connects there, we're gonna go in with, uh, Barbarian... Sorry, Barbarian. What's the thing, man? Give it. I'm just going to call it Barbarian Log. I don't even care. So, yeah. Um, that push wasn't successful. If there's high damage spell, the game would maybe be over now. But I don't know. I got a bandit. This guy's doing a little comeback. Mm, Alright, so he's going to go like that. I'm going to go with a Barbarian Log. And Ice Golem. So, that flying machine is not going to get any hits on our tower. But his Earthquake will. We're going to go Dark Prince. Um, Our Heal Spirit died to that Mega Knight charge. Which kind of sucks. But we're going to try to protect our three Musketeers as much as possible. And spam as much cards as we can. We're going to go with a Heal Spirit. And this word... Heal Spirit's going to work its magic. 
If I didn't heal spirit there, that barb log wouldn't have got a connection. And just like that, we won our second game of the video. All right, there. Our Dark Prince got a charge off. Man, this I'm loving this deck. I kind of like this deck other than the more than the other Royal Hogs deck and that Hog Cycle deck. So, I know you've been seeing a lot of that Royal Hogs Hog Cycle deck with uh, Heal Spirit. But, I mean, this deck's really good too. So, make sure to try it out. We're just going to go ahead and leak here right now. And we're probably going to go in with a Battle Ram and see what his response to it is. It's going to be Bomb Tower. Bomb Tower is not looking too good for us because, after all, it is Splash. But, he probably has Wall Breakers or Graveyard. And, those decks do not have Fireball, so I'm comfortable with going in with the Three Musketeers. I'm actually going to go in with a Bandit here, too. And, our Three Musketeers are healthy. Yes, that bandit did get a charge off on that cannon cart, which is a really unusual cart to have in a bomb tower deck. So, this guy's going to hit me off with a well played. I'll hit him off with a thanks, and he's going to try to troll me here. So, I don't really like when people troll me. But, I got some advice. When people troll you, don't turn off your emotes. Okay. You got to hit them back. Got to hit him back with your emotes once you w win. And this is something I'm going to do every game. So get, um, sorry, every video get, um, that's something you should get used to that. Every time I play everyone, I'm going to show like their stats, what arena they're in, how much trophies they have, obviously, what arena and you're in, that's the same thing. So yeah, I'm really excited to expose the troll guy who was trolling me in the first game. Hopefully he was like really high trophies. Because then I got to say that I beat a really good guy that was really good. Um, I'm going to cycle again to a Three Musketeers. And the thing that I love about Three Musketeers is that... I'm going to Ice Golem there. Hold on. And the thing that I love about Three Musketeers is I can build a big push with those two Musketeers. But... Uh, he, uh, that was a really impatient heal spirit by me. The thing that I love about... Um, three Musketeers, what I'm saying earlier, sorry I couldn't finish, is that you spawn, when they spawn, there's two on one side, one on the other. That's what you should usually do, anyway. But, um, yeah, I love when that happens, because when that happens, they have to defend both sides, or else, um, they're kind of, they're kind of screwed. So, I'm going to eat that Ice Wizard damage, and... We're actually going to be losing right now. We're going to Three Musketeers up higher because we don't have any poison value. We're going to... Oh, she's going to Tornado. We're not going to give him a well played because I'm kind of salty. We're going to Heal Spirit and Bandit and hopefully we can make a pretty good push. We're going to stack up another Elixir Pump. And, yep, let's go. Let's go, baby. That Musketeer did do some damage and we're back where we were before. I'm actually going to bridge spam minion horde because I really, really do want him to place his poison or NATO. So he ignored that Dark Prince and don't sleep on him, guys. He's good. We're going to three musketeers up here. Again, avoiding the poison area. Avoiding it. What am I saying? He's still poisoned. We're going to battle ram and heal spirit. Yay, yeah, finally got it right. Battle ram. And he's going to NATO, man. I thought we had that game. And we do have that game. Those Musketeers still connected. And Alonzo's going to give us a well played. We'll give it back. This guy's friendly. Unlike the first guy we played. Alright, so... Um, that was the third guy we played. And don't leave just yet. Because we're going to expose everyone I played. So like I said, I'd expose everyone I played. So we're going to start off with Nova I Lord, The first guy we played. Um, Let's go. We're going to go View Profile. And this guy's an ultimate champion. He's 6,340th in the world with this deck. And it's actually surprisingly low-level card, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe he was just trying that deck out, and he's not as good with it. But, man, if I beat that guy, I could be an ultimate champion. Like, this is season's highest trophies. Is he at that? Yeah, he's at his season's highest right now. And that was his best season, so he's for sure going to pass his best season. He's been playing... This guy's actually pretty stacked. 
He won a classic challenge, which we were just doing. He's won a grand challenge. He's reached a thousand wins. He's played for three years. He's ranked 885th in a tournament. He's reached ultimate champion. He's got 100 war day wins. So, you know what? You're a complete player. I gotta say, no Vi Lord. But I don't like you, man. You're such a troll and you suck because I beat you. And yeah, man. Sorry to be toxic and hate, but you did that to me. So we're going to go on with the next guy right here. ST, made in Italy, his clan. We're going to view profile. So this guy is a master too. Let's see, he's a level 12 just like me, and he's rocking this deck. It's pretty good. It was a tough challenge in my opinion. So that was his best season, 5,000. Just one trophy, sorry, just one trophy over master two. And yeah, he's also been playing for three years. He hasn't had a classic challenge win, but he has 1,000 wins. And this is the only league, that's the best league he's reached. He has a lot of wins. His favorite card's Night Witch. So this guy's a pretty good player too. I wouldn't say as complete as Novi Lord, but he's still pretty good. Now we're going to move on to Alonzo, the guy we just played. This guy's also a Master 2. Um, he's one win shy of Master 3, just like me. And I'm one loss shy of Master three, uh, 2. So he has level 9 Baby Dragon. He has pretty low level cards, so... Man, you're a pretty good player for being where you are. There's a lot of level 13s in um, that trophy range. And wow, his season's highest. It's actually not that much over. Just a couple games over. But his season's highest is one win ahead of me. And he's been playing Clash for two years, reached 1,000 wins. Hasn't got a grand or classic challenge win. But he has... Again, he reached Master 3. That's his highest uh, league that he's reached, just like me. So he's also a pretty good player. Um, again, not as complete as Novi Lord, but um, he's still pretty good. I mean, I'm really pumped that I'd be Novi Lord and Ultimate Champion, but that guy, man, he's toxic. And again, when the, when the toxic players give you emotes, don't turn off your emotes. You got to give them back once you're done beating them, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you all stay safe. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing some 2v2 troll deck um, upload with my boy GeForce. Again, he's a really good player, and show him some love. He's really good. Thanks. Bye.